live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, today is uh, lithium batteries without BMS battery voltage test. Lithium batteries without BMS voltage test. These are the LG Cam. They came from a Chrysler Pacifica. And uh, guys, I have a six modules here you guys can see the modules here and these are rated within the the 60 volt which is uh, approximately uh, 60 I can charge them to 64 or 60 66.7 I can bring them all the way up there uh, check on my specs there on my, uh, my um, LG Cam uh, batteries or videos uh, specification. You see exactly uh, what I said right there on the voltages. Well, I probably add them on the description below. It has been a quite a while. It has been a while I haven't uh, talked about this. So remember, yesterday, a um, few days ago, we had a topic about the uh, the uh, the the Ford Focus battery, which is uh, which are those, okay, uh, is a eight kilowatt. And here, guys, if you look at this, I'll let you do the math. So it's a two point six kilowatt, two point six kilowatt times six. So you do the math. I'll let you guys calculate today, and you know how much power I have on this one. These are my forty eight volt um, um, LG Cam batteries. And they are tied with those uh, Ford Focus batteries as an 8 kilowatts and calculates 2.6 kilowatt times 6 of it and add it to the 8 kilowatt. That's what I have for my 48 volt battery bank. These are all IN batteries, uh, kind of a very expensive battery. Uh, one module of these is uh, over $500 per module. So you guys can see this is a module right here and it's six of them here and uh, I got them because my dealer or my vendor um, had a good uh, uh, connection with that and I end up having my batteries, uh, good batteries, which is uh, they are very expensive, but I'm so happy because um, I took the mile and bought these batteries and uh, guys what well, they're all tied in parallel the reason because you cannot put them in series if you put them series gonna be uh, way higher and uh, I can tell you the green labels um, they indicate the year of the battery if you can tell right here it says it's manufactured at 20 uh, 2000 what yeah 2015 because they put the date first the date on the back the date on the back the month and the year 2015 because it's just international that's a lot of countries that's the that's how they write their their um the year date and month they go backwards so it's 2016 and I have these other ones here if you look at it it's 2017 you can see that the uh, February 12 2017 so it's just uh, a one year apart so guys so two of these is 2017 and four of these I believe I believe so I don't know um, I, I, I don't want to dismantle them and they are um, the top ones are 2016 I it might be other ones down there 17 but uh, that's that's what it is so we can see the LG cam batteries look at that right there so that's the barcode if you scan that and it's gonna give you uh, the uh, specifications of what's that so, guys, 
this is what it is there's um this one's here they have the same thing so let's do a voltage test but the, the thing is doing a voltage test on this because they tie in parallel and the voltage is going to be the same no matter what because look what i did um what i did here i had a bus bar from the nissan leaf um i utilized those and parallel this one you know negative to negative positive to positive positive to positive it's a it's a bus bar i use a bus bar and there's a bus bar right there so i just take the wires and cross them negative to negative you transfer the power right there this one positive transfer the power here and this positive to positive tied to this one here and the negative so i got the main leads coming from one end here and one end there to the bus bars which is right there this bus bar is going to be replaced like i told you i've talked about this i'm talking about this because i'm going to replace the bus bar stay tuned all right all right guys so these batteries is just uh you know five hundred dollars a piece so just six battery i end up um dealing with the three thousand dollars just for six batteries three thousand dollars so now let's see our what's our three thousand dollars is worth for for after a while having these batteries if the they they are still balanced because the system is not running right now it's a zero zero so i'm going to put a probe on this top one here and see what's the voltage is ah 65.1 so i normally charge these batteries to 66 66.7 that's what I, I set up on the on the uh, charge controller uh, the the charge inverter charger 66.7 and let's try I think that's what yeah the setting let's try this bottom one right there and you see there you go and we're gonna try this other one down here like I told you, they're going to read the same voltage because they're tied in parallel. It's supposed to read the same because they all balance themselves all the time. So you see that? Same thing. Let's try the one at the top here. Okay. And try it up here. 65.12. And let's try this one where I'm sitting at right here and tied it right there and let's see the same thing 65.2 they do the same flashing thing and let's try the other one underneath here bottom and let's see same thing do the same thing so guys they are well balanced so like i said um um someone a viewer mentioned that um I can't even tell all the if the batteries were the voltages are the same by not checking this each cell. But let me go back and recap when I come back here the last time. If I pop this cover open, this one here, I can able to reach read each battery. These are for the uh Ford Focus. I can able to reach each cell. So if you look at that, there's a hole. I can see through it. That's the internal BMS in it. So I have the plugins that came with it. So if I can able to configure that, or if I want to use a BMS, maybe the one that was here, I just use the wires into it and relay to that. That's all those are all those wires and the communication. And you can see, I think these are all sensors, maybe monitoring system. But like I said, I'm not running BMS on my system. Um, I don't really care about BMS, but uh, these batteries that be running uh, one and a half year going to two years and these ones are kind of recent they have their own BMS's too um, if you look at it um, here there is a, a plug in here that came with it I have the plug and with a short wire you can able to connect so if I take this cover right here let me turn the flashlight right here is a clip if I push this clip I'm gonna open pop this door open then I can measure each cell because see how the batteries do it there they're, they're configured so one two three four five six seven eight so eight times two that's a 16 okay 
So some people say the, 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 the 16, 16S or 8S or whatever. Uh, I, I, I'm tired. <laughs> so um, so it, it, that's how you do the configuration. So, but I cannot do it right now because I don't want uh, to um, take the screws off. I can able to take these ones here and remove this. And this cover is going to be off the way. This one's going to pop out and test the voltage. But get um, 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 just take my word, these batteries are balanced because I've done it before. And guys, you will see all these wires are equal. So the length from this uh, transition to this one here, they have to be the same length. They have to be the same length to parallel the batteries, lock them all away. The bus bar already parallel two batteries, two batteries, but the interconnect. So the interconnect, the, those are the thing, and it helps a lot because the length is the same, the same wire size. And I just want to show you, this is the um, the entire battery bank here. And guys, uh, I'm going to be doing the... Uh, the um, the bus bars. So guys, I'm gonna be changing all those bus bars over there, and I want I want to show you guys this. Um, this is my battery bank. I have inside this box. Then I have other a lot of batteries around, which uh, you guys seen a lot of videos. If you haven't seen that, um, the batteries go to um, AGM. Switching from AGM to lithium on my playlist. You can see all the batteries I have, lithium batteries I have, or I've dealt with um, previously in the past, live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. And guys, this is the battery bank in here running for the 48 volt system. This is just the 48 volt. All these batteries are the 48 volt. And this is the, the 24 volt here, which is the 8.544 kilowatt power wall. See that? It's eight batteries, there, eight modules. Okay, that's a 24 volts, and these are all for just a 48 volts system for the outback system right there. So this one, the Magnum, runs on this uh, power wall right here. These are Volkswagen E-Golf, which is Sanyo batteries. Okay, so these are all my batteries here, live at the JW Solar USA. Believe it or not, this is what we have going on here. At the command center so guys I give you a, a glance you can see well or whatever and this is the system okay it's a lot of money tied into this a lot of power tied into this take care love you guys all bye for now see you on the next video stay tuned for the boss bar is going to be incorporated uh, proper boss bar now we don't mess around anymore because we still have to put this system the way it should be power distribution going to be great. Thanks for watching. Bye.